Mr. Beckham, where are we headed this morning? Are we going to get your eye surgery, baby? Oh my goodness. Say, Mom, it's 5 a.m. I know. I'm sleepy. We woke up this morning and I let Chloe out to go to the bathroom and it was like white outside. And we got so much snow, it's crazy. So there's cars like pulled off the side of the road. We're like 30 minutes late, even though we got up at five, just because of how bad the roads are. So as you guys can see from that last clip that we'll add, it's there's just so much snow right now. So we're super delayed, but we called up to Primary Children's Hospital and they said that everybody else is delayed, so we'll be all right. So anyways, he's about to get surgery. He's been in such a sweet, like, He's been so much sweeter and kinder than I have been for 5 a.m., so he's a rock star. <laughs> yeah, Beckham's a morning guy, huh? <laughs> he's my little man, a morning boy. Oh, look at that bed head. <laughs> so cute. Hey guys, welcome back, good morning. Today's video is so exciting. Beckham is getting eye surgery. I have long awaited this day, and I know that Hunter has too. We are so excited to see what this eye surgery does for him. We are so hopeful that this is going to open so many doors for him to just be able to improve and use his vision to his best ability. And we are just so excited. There's my little man in the back. Here's Mr. Hunter Hughes, our wonderful guest star in every video. <laughs> yes, the designated driver. I thought it was like the main character. Right? I know you do, sweetie. I know you do. <laughs> Gotta tell him what he wants to keep him happy, you know what I mean, ladies? <laughs> but we are going to film as much as we possibly can today. And I also want to say thank you guys so much for all of your love and your prayers. I posted on Instagram. I also posted in our community here on YouTube today and told you guys that we're going in for surgery and your comments have just been incredible as they always are. So I know that this is going to be a couple weeks delayed, but we're gonna show you guys everything that goes on today and how well our little stellar boy does. With everything medical, the reason we always say, you know, as best we can, sometimes they allow the camera and it's no problem whatsoever. And then other times it's, you know, put that thing away. But right. for the most part, I feel like um, they allow us to film everything that they're allowed to let us film. So yeah, exactly. we'll just put in as much as we possibly can, like always. Right, and this is obviously, I don't wanna get emotional already, <laughs> but this is obviously a very special day for Hunter and I, and I absolutely love you guys to pieces, but obviously filming is not gonna be my number one priority if my son opens his eyes and can look at me straight for the first time. And I'm gonna enjoy that moment with my husband and with Beckham, and I know that you guys want that for us. But of course, we are going to show you as much as we can, as quickly as we can, but we also want to enjoy this moment as a family, so we are so excited. All right, Bubba, are you ready? He's a little bit hungry, guys, but hopefully we'll be in surgery within the hour, so he's gonna do great. Know that mommy has the camera. <laughs> He's like so aware of it lately. So this is an injection to make it more powerful, right? Oh, is that big what muscles, it does? yes. Yeah. Blood pressure cuts. You coming so strong? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hold on. Oh. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Two feet, ten inches. Yes. And doing a lot of the same. I know you like my little Oh, piano. yeah. You want to touch that? You're so helpful, Bubba. And then we can reach away. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so this is a cheaper toy than this. <laughs> we'll play with this. I'm going to cover that up. Oh, cute. It's just done. Hold okay. on. Okay guys, so they just took Beckham back into surgery. They told us it's gonna be about 80 minutes and then his surgeon will come out and update us on how everything went. So Hunter and I are just gonna grab a little Starbucks to hold us over and then we're just gonna work a little bit, chill here in the hospital so we can be there right when he wakes up. We told them not to like attempt to feed him or give him any water unless it was through an IV, just because you guys know Beckham's a little bit picky. So as soon as we can be with him in the recovery room, 
then we will get to attempt to feed him. We brought him baby food so that he's nice and comfortable, but hopefully everything goes great and we will update you guys as soon as we get to see him. Okay, Beckham just came out of surgery. Update us all. Okay, I'm like giddy right now. So Beckham is still asleep. She called us from his bedside and then came and met with us in this little room, which gave me slight PTSD. Tell me that did not give you PTSD. 100%. In here. Oh my gosh. Because they would always take us into little rooms in the NICU. When they would break bad news. And it was always bad news. But today, you guys, was the best news. She, oh, oh, she said that when she got in there, she was able to realign both eye muscles perfectly and that at the end of surgery, they were perfectly straight. And that that showed her like right there that his body responded really well to the surgery. So she told us that over the next couple weeks, like there's obviously going to be some redness, but that his eyes are going to be perfectly aligned and straight. And I'm just like overwhelmed with gratitude. So thank you guys so much for praying for him. I'm so excited. Like I said, he is still asleep. So we're just going to wait. And then as soon as he wakes up and gets kind of settled, we get to go back and be with him. So just a few peace of mind things that kind of made me feel more confident in our decision in doing the surgery. She said his eyes were very tight and that the surgery was definitely something that's going to help him astronomically and that his left eye was tighter than his right eye, right doll? And that whenever she was in there, she did have some good indications that his eyes were very straight. So we're super hopeful that they're, that he's not that one in five, that they are going to be straight. And that hopefully from here, he can just, you know, his his mind is going to really determine if his eyes stay straight over the next few months or, or years. I'm not really sure how often you do the surgery. So, you know, please keep him in your prayers so that he can continue to progress and so that his nerves um, can realign properly and straight so that he can see properly and we don't have to keep doing these surgeries on this little guy And then from there he just needs to keep his hands away from his eyes because he has that internal stitching um, They're going to be itchy in a little bit like prickly is the word that she used So he just needs to make sure not to like rub and agitate those to where he can open up the stitching and cause other problems So that's everything I can think of. We're super excited and <laughs> and appreciate you guys as, as our support system. We're I'm letting grandparents know. The grandparents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because right. you know they're like on the edge of their seats. But we will show you guys little Mr. Beckham as soon as we go back. Okay guys, he is still asleep, but we got to be able to come back and be with him in the recovery room. Look at this cute boy. If you listen close, you can hear him snoring. They told us that he woke up and was in a little bit of pain, so they put him back to sleep, but we are just so excited to see him wake up. Look at our tough guy. All right guys, so the lights are really dim because as soon as he starts to wake up, we don't want anything bright in his eyes. We just want it to be really mild and chill for him. But we have a nurse who's gonna be in here just checking on us, but we're in the post-op room. Hopefully we won't be here for longer than an hour or two. But of course we wanna make sure that he's doing 100% perfectly before we take him home. So as soon as he wakes up, we are going to attempt to feed him. And then in our next vlog, guys, we are going to show you the reveal of his eyes open, him looking at the camera, and we are so excited to share that moment with you. So if you haven't yet, be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below so that you don't miss the reveal of Beckham's straight eyes, which is so exciting and emotional for us. We love you guys so much, and thank you for supporting us and for praying for our little guy. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!